आई थिंक सोशल मीडिया एज अ सेक्टर कैन नॉट बी इग्नोर्ड फगेट ऑटोमोबाइल और एनी अदर ब्रांड और एनी अदर कैटेगरी एवरीबडी इज ऑन ऑन सम ऑफ द अदर सोशल प्लेटफॉर्म्स एंड इट्स जस्ट गोइंग वायरल एवरी डे राइट सो यू हैव मोर फॉलोअर्स मोर पीपल सब्सक्राइबिंग टू न्यू प्लेटफॉर्म्स सो कैन नॉट बी इग्नोर्ड फॉर श्योर particularly when it comes to automobile sector i think what uh, really works for us is great content and everything everybody is now moving towards content because automobile brand uh, is still still uh, the, the emotions of buying the car is, is still very strong when you are actually going and taking a test drive or considering a vehicle uh, so the purchase decisions are very much emotionally driven and that's why content plays a very important role in triggering those right emotions uh so i think the automobile sector definitely can leverage more on the content part of it uh obviously going more uh, <clears throat> regional will also uh, be seen in the future so uh, going into uh, seven different languages and talking to the local people is going to be big in 2020 is what i feel i think uh, see every brand has a objective uh, to achieve right and uh, uh, particularly for for the automobile brand, brand or other brands what i've seen is uh, associating uh, to a cause is usually done through the csr route uh, but as i just mentioned previous that uh, uh, emotion play, plays a very important role in brand building right and to trigger those right emotions uh, associating yourself with a cause which which resonates well with your brand core values really makes sense because they go hand in hand so if for example uh, jeep believes in going out and exploring the nature uh, if i associate myself very closely with preserving the nature preserving the wildlife it really makes sense for me because that is what my brand really believes in uh, so yes associating to the cause should not be done only because you want to do something uh or just because uh it's going to give you x number of views or x number of uh, likes on your social platforms but you should definitely do it if your brand values and the cause resonate with each other see uh there are four core values of the jeep brand and authenticity is one of them and uh, we call ourselves or we are the original authentic suv uh, which was which was born in 1941 right and that's why authenticity becomes a very important part of whatever we do uh, uh, being authentic being honest is not an option is what i feel uh, every brand should understand where they come from what is their origin and they should base their communications on their core values of their origin and uh, in in a very honest and authentic way what customers thinks about them rather than forcing their thoughts on the customer so i think that that is where authenticity really plays an important role and customers are getting more and more intelligent so you can't really fool them you have to be authentic you have to be honest in whatever you're doing for me the biggest uh, one is content we we have gone from a long format to short format and now going to shorter shorter formats uh, of content definitely works very well for us uh there there are various trends in terms of uh, uh the way people are uh, using seo the way way people are uh, using google to search the brand to know more about the brand and where uh, the landing page takes them okay uh, so the trend is more about so when a customer really walks into a showroom he has done 80% of his research on what car what product what specifications he is really looking for uh, and that trend is going to get stronger stronger as we go ahead so digital really plays a very important role in convincing the customer that yes this is the model or this is the product that i want to buy and then he makes that extra effort to go to the showroom and then actually experience the car but before experience the car 80% of his research is all done on social media and and the the digital platforms I think they are I think everybody is doing a great job uh, and uh, this awards what they really do is 
one is obviously they gave a recognition to the brand and the work that that the uh, the brand is doing but it also motivates the the team who's doing all the work at the ground level right uh, so i think uh, yes uh, brands are rightly represented uh, in the award uh, uh, season and uh, i think it's getting more and more tougher uh, brands have to really work hard to to achieve that uh, metal that they really aiming for it does see uh, uh, what i uh, said in the panel discussion was also that uh, my product is the biggest influencer uh, and coming from the auto sector uh, the entire pr machinery and the the, P, the auto experts or the journalists do a fantastic job in reviewing your product so if your product is not good uh, no matter what other influencers are talking it's not going to make any sense uh, so your product your brand is the biggest influencer that you can have and uh, i've been very fortunate that jeep has been well received and uh, is is one of the most desirable brands in in india i think uh, 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 the under the hood campaign which we've done a series of content uh, using uh, hip hop and rap music uh, i think that's really caught up very well we're getting really good response on that it's a very unique way of explaining what's under the hood of the car rather than just looking at the exterior features and how beautiful the car is you need to go under the hood and see uh, what what mechanics what engineering is gone behind giving you that experience and the under the hood campaign does a fantastic job i think uh, i'll i'll urge everyone you and all the viewers to just go and look at the campaign and give your feedback i think they are very young right now uh, the audience on tiktok uh, uh, i i still have to evaluate but then the way i'm looking at it is is very uh, youth oriented very excited uh, and uh, obviously being into the premium suv segment uh, probably for tiktok for me to use get on the tiktok platform will take a little more understanding and and uh, analyzing the audiences uh but tiktok is a great platform to be honest it's it's really catching up short videos a uh, lot of ugc going out there uh, and people are really enjoying it i had a great time over here i think it was it was really good and thanks for uh, inviting me over here it was really good experience